people, it's me, Mr. Glasses. And it goes out to all my people from New Orleans. Houston, Texas is the real bullshit place that people say that it is. It is one of the most racist places I've ever been in my entire life. It is. For them to have a full-blown conspiracy like they have here with me in the middle of that circle, it's some bullshit. Why I say it's some bullshit? When you look at, I reported something two and a half years ago as verbal abuse that was happening to me to the point where me reporting this shit pissed the people that I was reporting this shit off. So it escalated the verbal abuse after I reported the verbal abuse to the point where I had to start wearing audio on myself so I can catch these people doing the wrong that they were doing to me in private somebody else. So when I was able to catch these people doing a wrong deed, it's almost like I did something wrong. For those of you who don't know, March the 5th, 2013 was the day that they escalated me to reporting the verbal abuse that I was getting from Houston Fire Department paramedics. We talking about to the physical part of them jeopardizing my life. The legal term for reckless and endangerment. The legal term for what they did when they stopped my medical attention. Because when I called 911, you know and I know there isn't any stop in going to the emergency room. That is where you having your emergency happen to be checked out at at that room. And when I called 911 because I thought I was dying, how dare the paramedics feel like they can just do me anything and get away with it, which they did. Even though I had the whole ordeal on tape. From the stopping of the ambulance to the guy standing up and telling me, look here, I'm not playing with you. And the other guy coming in and closing the door, do you want to go to jail? If I recall correctly, I called 911. So for the mayor here in Houston, Texas, after me coming in front of her numerous of times, asking the simple two questions of why did my MLM stop and what was going to happen to me if I didn't give them the information they wanted because I was scared. Do you know 11 times going into the council's meeting I, I have yet to have the correct answer to that question because the answer that I got when it closed the investigation on that civil rights violation that these paramedics did because everyone has a civil right to call 911 for medical attention. And when they stop the ambulance, they stop my medical attention. And we know every second in a minute of a day, people die not getting to the hospital in time. And these guys stop my ambulance in real life saving time and threaten me with bodily harm and incarceration. If I would have flatlined after these guys told me three times they need me to calm down, Mr. Norton, we just need you to calm down. We just need you to calm down. When they realized how much of a serious situation they had me in, they decided then to rush to the hospital. We didn't just run through three lights, we ran through four lights. And on that third light, we almost hit something. But I'm the one that's living with this nightmare. On that third light, what happened in my nightmare? 
there's a car, really an astral van, with five kids in it and a mom and a dad. And the kids are acting up on the astral van until dad looks back at the kids and say, come on kids, y'all gotta settle down or something. Mommy's trying to drive the van. Mom sees the light, it's green. Proceeds to go through the light, looks over at dad, say thank you honey. And then our ambulance slams into the action van and kill all occupants in the vehicle. The two paramedics die also. And I'm left paralyzed from the neck down. Who would want to have a nightmare like that? Who would want to complain about something as wrong as what those paramedics did me and nothing happened about that? To the point that it happens again. August the 27th, 2013, to shut up about March the 5th, 2013. To say that after all the investigation and going to the council's meetings and all these different things, till it happened to me again, four times, four times in one month, four times it happened to me, twice by MTM, and twice by paramedics. Wow, to the we. That's me. This is the type of life I'm having here in Houston, Texas. So I'll say to you out there that's 